Hi, Linda. We're back Hi. again. I'm so excited to talk to you, especially we should, we're going to need to do a weekly show, except I don't know if I can do one next week because I was just telling you, and I think I told the uh, the subscribers I'm having, it's like a Fraxel, but it's called Dot. I've never had it done before. It's a form of laser <laughs> surfacing. So I don't know if my face will be blown up like a nickel balloon. And uh, I was telling Andre, one time I went to the butcher and my I was like black and blue on one side and I had my sunglasses and a hat and the butcher kept looking. I said, hey, you should see the other guy. But it'll be well worth it when it's all done. Now, listen, you guys always talk about my skin. See, I have some H marks here, but um, I haven't done any Fraxel or anything in quite a while. So it, it just rejuvenates. Yeah, no, that, that's the price you pay with any, anything, any intervention. I mean, it, I can think of, count, you know, different surgeries, things. It always, things always look rough and then they, and then you, and then then you it, see the. Slowly but surely. Yeah. yeah. yeah they, slowly but surely they, you know, you, you see the benefit. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah. So we're in the midst of the, the, you know, the political season. And remember we were thinking last time we were wondering about the convention. I think it was a. A huge success. You it know, was the, fantastic, and you yeah. said that too. Yeah, although I was a little bit, you know, kind of worried about maybe the Palestinian protests and that kind of thing, but oh, they it turned out that way. Science. Now, listen, I saw some ugliness happening beneath, but it felt like it was outside of the convention. Mm -hmm. Well, some group, Palestinian group, got in a hotel room and threw maggots on the people's food. Hmm. But that's it. That's all the, the and they, the gal in the in the group said, "Hey, they shut it down, cleaned it up. FBI come came in because they wanted to know how they got in there." But she said it was although if it would have done me a favor because once I saw maggots, I wouldn't have been hungry at all. Yeah, I know it's that that you know that whole theme. It's sometimes with politics is that I guess I mean I I'm not I I, I like watching I like studying and so forth but. I'm not in the political domain, and probably if I suggested this, they would say, no, 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 we can't do it that way, that's too risky. But, you know, why didn't the Kamala, for example? I mean, the answer is really obvious. So the reason that they can't withdraw support from Israel the way, you know, the Palestinian faction says they should is because you just say, look, there's a country of all these millions of people. Half the people think we should do this, and half the people think we should do the other thing. So what do you, which way do you want us to go? At least we're trying, we're telling you, yes, we support Israel, but no, this can't go on like this anymore. Right. If you put if you put the orange turd in power, he's all in for Israel. He's not gonna do anything for Palestine. So, you know, I hate to tell you this, but we're doing the best we can here. We're, we're telling you, we don't like Netanyahu. We don't like what he's doing. We want to. And they don't like what he's doing either. The good news is they don't like what he's doing. Well, exactly. But, you know, it's amazing to me that uh, people that are on the, you know, we got to do everything for Palestine say, well, we're just not going to vote. That's not a good idea. You should vote for the side that is more likely to do something for you. It's really, very think, simple. Psychically, I think, and mark my words on this, I think Kamala will be the person that gets in the office and actually manages to do something. She's not necessarily a Netanyahu fan either. No, and she's I not. I see her really st coming down on him. So I don't know what exactly is going to happen, but I know he can't do this taking over Gaza Strip and thinking it's his. No, and I mean, I, I, uh, the reading that I've done says that Israel is is teetering because they've got to find a different way to do this. Otherwise, they can go bankrupt. It's just a really bad idea what they're doing. And, and, and they're, they're getting... also killing their own hostages. Yeah, of course. They're yeah, bombing of course. places where the hostages are. Yeah, but it, see, this is the thing like where Netanyahu is very Trumpy in that he's doing what he's doing primarily to protect himself because he knows that once the conflict ends, he's in trouble because he'd have oh, to... Oh, they want to bring him up on charges, yeah. Exactly, yeah. So that's why it's happening. And, you know, I mean, again, Kamala couldn't say this, but a really obvious thing to say would be, well, part of the reason is, why do you think Israel is misbehaving? Because they have a right-wing person. This is what the right-wing always does. They take these directions that are extreme, irritating everybody, because it's too much, you know? You can right. defend yourself without being, you know, excessive the way they've been, right? So, well, let me tell you, today I did a real short video and I, when I looked, I saw, you remember how they want to get him on Trump on the Logan Act? 
I saw, I think even the DOJ, some inside track calling Netanyahu asking what exactly happened with Trump. I see Tim lying and saying he never talked to Trump. So they don't have anything to go on if Netanyahu said it never happened. Who do you see lying? Tim, you said? I saw Netanyahu. Okay, they want Trump arrested on the Logan's Act because you're not supposed to interfere with a foreign entity. Mm -hmm. They said he called Netanyahu and said, don't make any ceasefire deal. That'll only go good for Biden. He probably did have that conversation. They presented it to the DOJ and the DOJ probably started looking into it. My psychic sense was somehow or the other when it got a hold of Netanyahu is like, no, I don't recall that happening. But it did happen. Right. No, that, that wouldn't that wouldn't surprise me one bit. I mean, that that's classic. Because Trump. he knows if he said it did happen, then Trump would they would turn on Trump. So he's saying no, because he's still hoping that Trump will win. Yeah, well, that that's really the only, his only hope. Same with uh, Putin, you know, a number of people are totally dependent on this, but good luck with that one, you know, because uh, the territory is uh, very, very complicated for an outcome like that. I'll just leave it at that. I mean, not not to mention that, you know, Kamala's chart is just so much stronger, you know, so it's... Right. Really, and then something else, too, that I think I was telling you this earlier this week about this sense that I got about the... Uranus cycle, which is, there's a lot of Uranus this year. This is why we had so many shocks. You know, he almost was assassinated. And then Biden, Biden, in a way, uh, leaving was sort of expected, but it was still shocking. And you know, we all thought, wow, that's amazing. Wow. What, what a change. And so there's a lot of Uranus. But what I noticed is Uranus was very active in 2016 but less in 2020 and more back again now in 24. And the thing about Uranus is that these planets have many meanings. And one of the meanings is something new, something unusual. That's what Trump was in 2016. He represented that particular uh, energy in 2016. Hence, you know, and it was a shocking result. Now, in this case, if Kamala were to win, that's not so much shocking as it's new. It's a new direction. It was unexpected because really no one thought that it would be like this the more logical thing would have been Biden wins and then later she takes the the takes charge and so forth. This way is more unexpected. So to me, this is the meaning of the year in a cycle this year among many. It's not the only one, but it's it's that that thing of the newness, because if you elect a woman, that's major, major new energy. It's not the only thing, because the other thing going on is that planet that is an actual woman, Iris, that planet is showing really signaling, you know, uh, women power rising right now it's it's pretty clear. oh guess what the latest is what trump announced it's on he's announced that if if a national abortion ban comes to him as president he will not sign it yeah sure well of course he's got to say that you know he's got to say that i mean so what do you think of rfk i i don't see it making any difference for him no R, rfk i think is a nothing burger uh he also, he, he went, well, I mean, I hate to tell you, but I mean, just look at the guy, the, the guy's record, what he's done. Someone asked me about, well, do you think RFK, uh, that, that Trump may get rid of J.D. Vance and put an RFK? Well, RFK is even worse because if you think there are things you can attack J.D. Vance, I mean, RFK is like a treasure trove of problems. Right. And I saw him wanting to do that, but psychically, I got a hit that he's got people around him saying dude don't do it you're going to mess you're going to mess it worse than it already is exactly yeah don't so, do it no so and then uh i think there's at most maybe a an extra point for trump if that it may not even be it may be nothing you know in terms of the the actual result but well, people you, who were voting for rfk voted for him because they didn't want trump yeah. And then, I mean, some people are on both sides that are anti-vax and, you know, they, they follow the more conspiratorial side of it. But I remember saying last year that he was likely to reach like very similar to DeSantis. Once Jupiter got out of, got of, um, entered Gemini, because the whole thing was Jupiter was helping him up to about the middle of the year. And then things just started to drop. And now, I mean, he's going nowhere, basically. It's In it's, fact, it's, you said because of Uranus, you said expect surprises even before Biden stepped down. You said that. Well, no, that that's true. Yeah, even now I'm still, you know, kind of wondering. Huh, you know, my guess, but of course, then it wouldn't be a surprise if I say it. I suppose, but 
And my guess is that if there are surprises, they're more likely to come now from the Trump side rather than the than the Kamala side. But, you know, I'm still, you know, paying attention. Like, basically, right now, this we're in it. Between now and about um, the, fir the September 10th or so, Uranus is stationing. It's very strong, right? And it's... You know, because I'm even feeling, lately I've been feeling, maybe he's not going to debate. You know why? Because he can't afford to lose anymore. And he takes that risk with debating her. He does, but then look at the risk if he doesn't debate. I mean, this is the problem, yeah, but right? But he might come up with he's sick or something. Possibly, possibly. The thing with that one is this, that when I looked at the debate, it's not so much the debate day that tells me the story. It's that the 10 days after that, it's rough for him because Mars is going through this part of the chart he doesn't like at all. Those degrees and early cardinal that match when the Hollywood bus came up and all that, you know, the access Hollywood thing. He doesn't like that. So if he's raging, you can count on the fact that he's upset. He doesn't like it. The debate is in the, you know, just before that. So. And he's mad at J.D. Vance, but, but J.D. Vance isn't the problem. It's him. He always blames others. And um, I think he promised RFK a, a position in, in his administration. Well, sure. But, you know, prom but this is like a promise when you say to someone, if I, if I win, you know, the lottery, I'll give you some of it. <laughs> but I know, I mean, sure. You have to have it first, right? So, <laughs> oh, I know. always, when I bought my ticket, I'd tell the person, listen, if I win, I'm going to mention you in my will. And <laughs> I find you, I'm just going to mention you. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Doesn't amount to anything. But we were talking about two people and you've said, no, I don't think this person will win. And then you took a look, see at his chart, and you came up with something else. So tell yeah, yeah. So, so uh, based on uh, past trends, and I mean, it's Missouri. I you know Missouri. Yeah, you, know, you got to face the fact Missouri, Texas. It's not fertile ground for winning elections on the blue side. But this was Josh Hawley and the other guy, Luke something. I can't remember his last name. But then I looked at both charts and. Looks is looks really good, so that's a I'm major threat. You, that's why I was surprised you said that because psychically, I think I told my people even I feel Josh Howley's going to lose this time. Well, then, yeah, that is the possibility is, is he is doesn't definitely... even live in Missouri, he uses his sister's address. Yeah, I mean, he carries the thing is when you're an incumbent, you carry a certain amount of you know, uh, reputation and whatever, and, and it's Missouri and all the rest. But his problem, like many of these people are having this problem, is that they're in the middle of this women's rights thing. This is lethal stuff. The other thing is, you saw what he did, that video that came out where he challenges Luke in the middle of a thing. And I thought, what are you doing? He's oh, obviously worried. I know. Yeah, he went up and hey, let's debate right now. And, and, you know, Luke just said, we'll debate when we debate. I mean, he was being the adult. So... He's trying to create, you know, media. Oh, yeah, he's Mr. Stepping Outside and doing this. And yeah, doing the thing. thing. With his panties all up in a twirl. Yeah, no, exactly. I mean, and they're, you know, they're getting the swirl of uh, women's rights, the fact that, because they say, oh, I, I want nothing to do with that. That's all in the Project 2025. They'll leave you the page and the chapter. Like, it's all there, what they're writing about it. And a lot of the religiosity, they want to create a kind of, you know, religious cult type thing running the country. That's what Josh Hawley is. Josh Hawley is like Bill Barr. They've got this idea that the country should be run by white Christian males who have power and money and, you know, and, and can tell you what to do. And the U.S., it's hard to tell anyone what to do about anything. The U.S. I mean, resists that, right? So uh, to me, it's really smart, too, that the Democratic Party now uses the words they used to use, like freedom, you know, freedom, freedom, freedom. That's usually and, a, and waving the flag, USA. Exactly. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. No. And, and, and why? Because according to Trump, this country is a, an asshole country now, according to him. Yeah. You know? and, but how, and also he, he said he had nothing to do with that project 2025. Yeah, sure. But his, sure. Hand, his handprints are all over it. Well, and, and then he's saying he won't pass the national bill for board. He's desperate. That's right. a desperate move because look who he's pissing out, pissing off now. Those religious people that wanted him. Yeah, no, exactly. And I and I this is where where uh, you know the advocacy is very important. You just have to realize that the world works like this. This is like the thing how 
you know, the Biden-Trump debate. If you just read the debate in a paper, you realize, oh, Biden is the smart one and this is the stupid yeah, guy. Yeah, and when they, you read the, the, what do they call the, when they the type tra it The transcript, out. the transcript, the transcript. Right? Yeah, right. But the problem is that it's projecting the message. This is where Kamala is really dangerous to him because she's very good at this and she's gained a lot of power over the over recent years. That was another thing that I didn't focus on enough that during the White House years, she was having Pluto squaring sun and moon. I know the Pluto energy when you go through it, it really empowers you. It's the kind of thing where you go through a big change and you really find your voice, you find your way of being. She's projecting in a very different way. In fact, I think this is one of the surprising things because everybody thought, oh, Kamala is no good. She's not because they remember a couple of uh, interviews she did during the administration period when she was VP. She wasn't very good then, but she's grown into this she's, really strong. Let me tell you, did you notice uh, Biden takes her along for these big meetings? Of he course, does, yeah. Lock her in the closet. Yeah. Like she, She's learning from him. She's learning from the master because talk about a negotiator. Biden is a master. He's really good. And, and then whatever was going on in her own psyche, you know, you, you can just feel it. Everything she's done, you know, through this whole process is really, really good. What she did with the speech, it was totally rock solid. You know, I mean, Trump was trying to attack her, saying things on truth, antisocial, whatever that thing is, right? You were saying things, but it's all coming up. I mean, she's not even, when did she become black? I know, or like I'm better looking than her. And oh, please, oh. I mean, the man, the man oh. is. <laughs> I mean, what, what does that even mean? <laughs> well, you know, here's a plus she doesn't wear diapers. Well, oh yeah, God. that's another thing. Yeah, that's another but thing. But do you know that James Carville? Yes. Did you see? I'm not sure how much of this is true. You know, you got to be careful with rumors because everybody was saying, I heard an inside information that Beyonce was going to be at the thing. And I do see Beyonce and probably Taylor Swift both performing, but it seems like it's during the, when they already win, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the big party. Yeah. So James Carville and President Clinton, they were throwing this around, but it could just be a rumor that they were going to have during this, this uh, convention, have certain people come up and talk and then you voted on who you like better. But it was Biden who threw Kamala in. Hmm. So and James, James Carville said this? This is what you're saying? No, well, they, this is the input from Midas Touch and that stuff was that James Carville was part of this group that wanted to have people uh, what do you call it? Like when you go and try out for something, like a survey or a or a... well, that's when they came up with all those names. Remember, they were talking about Michigan uh, governor, Governor Newsom. They were going to bring them all up and try them, hmm. and see if they fit. Yeah, it's tricky though with a lot of those things that that, that the rumors. It, yeah, I always like waiting for two or three sources because. You know, I'll hear something. Oh, well, where is it? It's on Twitter. You know, okay, wait. I just I'm gonna wait till the yeah, mainstream Yeah. Well, outlets, the other thing you know. is, uh, I do see Beyonce performing for her, but it's more like that when she wins the inaugural ball or something like that. Yeah, and it's a lot more important if Beyonce and um, Taylor Swift endorse Kamala and call on their followers to vote because, especially Taylor Swift, she has a big pull with young people. Oh, she and, will say though. She's she will endorse them. Yeah, well, that, that that's critical because they, they there's been a big shift. Uh, I've heard this said in multiple places that since 2016 and even 2020, but especially 2016, there are a lot less boomers and a lot more young people, and that's a problem for the for the MAGA crowd, right? Oh, I know. I yeah, know. because they, it alters the vote. And they're saying uh, um, Kamala, she's got 45 down. 45, like for me, I get 60, 55 and up as people who watch my show. Mm -hmm. But for her, the people that are really coming out, I'm surprised it's not my age too, because a lot of women, they don't want their youngsters and grandchildren to go through things that they never had to deal with. So, but they sure. said 45 down, she's getting all kinds of people backing her. Yeah, that, and that's really helpful. It's really helpful, yeah. you know, and they have good reason to because they it, you know they have think they have skin in the game i mean this is a big election that way when people are trying to take away rights and or also the the gun issue around 
just common sense stuff like red flag laws, background checks, getting rid of the AR-15s. This is basic stuff that 90% of the country thinks should be done, you know. So right. you just do it, get it done, you know, once and for yeah. all. Yeah. You know, um, uh, when we get closer to the, we when you take a look at the planets, when we get on the actual election day, mm -hmm. I, I, I know some people say, even her, she said, it's going to be close. This is going to be a fight. And I understand why they need to say that, because they don't want people to relax like they did with Hillary. Oh, she's got it in the bag. But I think she might take it like Obama did. Well, that would be that would be huge. Well, Obama was big, big, big. He got he was he's up there in 350 electoral votes. Yeah, it's a lot. Um, I don't know. I mean, the thing is with with if Trump is which again, this is another thing. I'm not ready yet to even say Trump gets to the finish line just because that chart is not doing well. I'm sorry, it's not doing well. And I see this in astrology a lot, especially the older you are and the way he lives. It's risky stuff, you know. Yeah. It's one thing that someone tried to, to kill him, that's that's there too. And I mean, it was pretty close, but even within his own energy patterns, it's not great. But if he's there, and maybe even if he isn't, because now they're so, they're so programmed, you know, to complain and say that it's all rigged. I mean, like people like Carrie Lake and, you know, and people like that. So I, I doubt that we'll be able to say 100% the president, you know, it's totally settled in November. It's probably going to be a while because they're going to be arguing, you know, about. But I something. think she'll win enough bigger than Biden did. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. And the bigger the win is, the better, the better because there is less, you, you can't argue as much. Right. Is that and listen, I didn't bring a bar to you again. You've read on bar before, but he, I had a hit. When I get a hit out of the blue, it usually means something's up. Something's up with bar. It, what do you think is up? I think he's in trouble, big trouble. It, of what kind? I mean, because I, I, I don't know. We... Anytime I threw the cards on him, it was terrible. And, you know, there's a lot of things he did interfering with what he shouldn't have, like getting rid of the Epstein situation to protect his father and to protect uh, uh, the, the Trumps. But there's other things he's done that are slowly coming out. I think he's in big trouble. Well, he is, a, you see, this is the, the, the many Geminis. Uh, and again, let me, for everyone, if you're a Gemini, this doesn't apply to you necessarily. It could, could apply to you too, but <laughs> don't start saying, oh my God, I'm a Gemini. It's the way you live. It's the way you, it, it, you could, the chart is the, combination of your will and your planets. What are you doing to express your planets? So Bar is Gemini, MTG is Gemini, Trump is Gemini. They're all kind, you know, Marco Ruby, they're all these Geminis. And if you've been doing, you know, uh, crooked things, and we know Trump has for sure, and Bill Barr, I mean, he does them in the open, by the way. I mean, when he was, when he was, a, when he was Attorney General, he was helping Trump in all kinds of ways to pardon people, and he wouldn't investigate certain things. He would he would tackle and block for well, Trump. Well, look what they did to Michael Cohen. Yeah, as an example, they among many. They made him go back to jail. And then when Cohen, even the the, the uh, administration or the, jury, the Justice Department said that wasn't cool, then he, when he went to sue Barr and everybody, they said, no, you can't sue them. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, Barr, he was doing it all the way back in the... George H. W. Bush years. He's a he's a total Republican lackey. He just pulls but he'll for them. Cheat, lie, and do what he has to do. Yeah, and and it's very. He's the uh, Bill Barr is very similar to Josh Hawley. They uh, they I've I've read articles on these two guys where they describe the views as you know religiosity. The uh, that's why uh, Barr says that he doesn't like Trump at all now. He found out, but the rest of us knew. But he said. No, I'm still voting for him. Well, why? Because the progressive thing is even worse. How is it even worse? How? Yeah. You know, when you said this guy is unfit to do anything, right? So, uh, yeah. So Bill Barr being a, a Gemini, we're in that period where things can get dicey for sure. And and yeah. and, and then if the uh, if someone like Jack Smith continues to work the case, it's dangerous because there might be something you know, there that he did, because when you're doing a lot, it's just sort of the rule that, you know, people do one crooked thing, two, three, the more you add, the more something might be, you know, might, you might leave a fingerprint. But I'll tell you though, with Barr, Barr, the thing about him is, he's really smart, uh, even though he's, you know, 
not exactly, in my opinion, ethical, but he's hard to catch that way because that's why he wouldn't follow Trump. You know, when Trump wanted to do the phony thing, he oh, said, no, 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 no. Around. Yeah, that we're was not a, doing that. That was a road he couldn't travel. No, but I think one of the reasons is he thought, I'm not getting in the middle of this. I'm not going to start doing this and then becoming, you know, legally liable. You do that if you feel like doing it, you know. Right. So that's that's. Well, he was still under the guise of the administration when he was doing those other illegal things. Yeah. But yeah. when Trump lost and he knew he lost fair and square, he couldn't take that risk because then he'd be tossed into the Biden administration. Yeah, no, exactly. It'd be too, it'd be too risky. So, yeah. Uh, so anybody else you were looking at? Well, there was the, the case of... Um, uh, you asked about this. The the guy in Pennsylvania, Scott Perry. Yeah. He is. So he's running. This is a fascinating one because he's running against someone named Janelle uh, Janelle oh. Stelson, right? Oh, Janelle Stelson. Stelson. So that's an important uh, house seat because the house. You know, it's all very tight right now. So anything you can win, you can flip basically. And this guy has been there a long time. And the curious thing is, they're both born May 27th, but she's born two years before him. Okay. And in a different place. And in both cases, I only have the day. I don't have the time of birth, but I have the day of birth. And so the charts are really similar because uh, the son is the same position and uh, some, some things are similar, but hers is better than his. So that to me looks like a potential flip, you know. Uh, Ooh, and, and once again, Think about it. She and, and you know, this is again how you see optics, because at first I thought, OK, who is this person? So it turns out it's this attractive woman who is a media. I think she worked in TV or something. And I thought, uh oh, here's the trouble because <laughs> she's going to throw, you know, the women's rights at you. And we're in that year. You've been there a long time. You, he's kind of an ultra right wing. Right. So that yeah. that race looks good to me as a okay, good. as a flip. Right. Yeah, good. which is good. Yeah. So, anyone else that we haven't covered, or any any other? Uh... Well, I, we're going to be getting a lot of names coming up. And we'll we'll take a look, see at the tight ones. At the tight ones, yeah. No, they're yeah. they're going to be quite a few, yeah, for sure, for sure. All right. Well, uh, I guess we'll leave. How it. does our president Biden look? Have you looked at his chart? Is he okay with himself? Well, but you know, Biden, he's a case of the the. Uh, energy that affected at least his well-being because he hasn't really had a health event per se other right. than he, he had COVID but no it's still there so right now uh between like I'm gonna say I would lump August and September in, in there especially the period we're in now if he gets through into into October then I think it's less of an issue, but something oh. could happen, you know. But I, I don't know that. Do you see anything serious? I don't. No. That, no. no. I mean, uh, just that there's pressure around around the health pattern. It, it continues I see to be another there. big name going who's in. Somebody really old is going to cross. I don't know who it is. It might be a Republican, an old Republican. I just flashed that. I just saw like on the news, so-and-so has passed. I think he's still in the house, but he might have retired. But I just saw that. But listen, um, did you real quick, September 18th, the day that Trump is supposed to go in and get his uh, his uh, penalty? Yeah. Did, remember, how did I, that look that day? Well, no, it doesn't look good for him. Uh, oh. That's It does not. The, the problem with this logic, though, is that he has had a great deal of luck stalling delaying you know getting people yeah. to help him and the the 20 the the day when there it's announced which is i believe the 16th it's two days before right that's when he oh i guess so yeah yeah and that isn't great either but when i saw where venus is venus is in a trine i kind of thought maybe who knows maybe he uh, the guy uh, he forestalls right but what i know is that after so after the 18th, it's not good for him. And the two weeks after that, it's, it's really bad. So it could be because of that reason, but if not, don't worry, there'll be some other reason. You know, because, I mean, this guy, I mean, he's just, everything is, is piling on and yeah. he's gonna ramp up the insanity of making things up and, you know, making 
Oh, Massive yeah, like announcing I, if it comes to my desk, if the national abortion ban, I'm going to veto it. That's bull. That's bull pucky. But the, why would he do that? Because he's desperate for to take votes away from Kamala. That's Correct. But but that's where in a debate, especially that's up to Kamala. She's got to bring that up and say, you know, nobody believes that. Right. You realize yeah. that nobody believes that. What they believe is you on camera saying, I'm really proud that I did this. That's what counts. You know, the rest that's is talk. Like, oh, yeah. You talk like, you know, love it, but you did what you did, right? So that's the yeah, whole like you're two, you're six foot two and 215 pounds. Of <laughs> yeah, right. Nobody <laughs> sees that. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Well, my friend, it was lovely seeing you on this beautiful Sunday. Likewise, likewise. All right. We'll continue okay. soon, I'm sure. Next week, hopefully. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Bye, everyone.